Hi guys, welcome back. Scaling here we are for more of Mother 1 slash Earthbound Beginnings. In the last episode, I said I'm going to go get some PP, and I'm actually going to do that because, as you can see right here, we are quite low at 7 PP. In the last episode, we rescued Pippi, returned her to the mayor, and she said, come see me at my house later. And, well, we were going to go to the zoo, well, we're at the zoo, in order to um, progress the game, because if you remember in town, we got told, hey, there's something going on at the cemetery, as well as... Uh, well, we've got the canary chick to deliver, and also animals are going nuts in the zoo. There's so much stuff going around at Podunk, it's crazy, it's insane. But yeah, I don't have a lot of PP, so I'm gonna bail out of here. Let's go! Dang it. Oh, we've got new enemies! And that is weird for a formation of one character. Maybe they'll spawn more along the way, but it's just the one fly and it spawns way on the left. Okay, I've actually never seen this enemy before. Not even in Chugga's LP. I don't think. Even that one, I've always blinked and missed. But hey, one swat with a bat is one shot. Well, we all know this. It's a bat. It, it's a bat. It's a bloody fly, whatever. And another alligator. You know what? I'll keep this guy in because this guy gave us trouble. Don't you dare. Oh, you smagger. Die. Wow, two hits, nice. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to cut until we get back into town. I was originally going to just start back at town, but in case we get any levels up, level ups on the way back, that's kind of the reason why. Go, 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 Oh, okay, we found, I just found something new, you can't walk on the flowers, I was just going to cut the corner, but you can't. I didn't go that far from the zoo, we were actually right at the sign that allows us to find out that we're at the zoo. I was pressing up like ten times there, good lord. Yeah, see, I'm not that far away. Anyway, just wanted to point that out, you can't walk on the flowers because you're a good boy. Okay, I've made it back to town and I've just looped round to get back up to our house here, but... On the way, well, the reason why I'm going to the house is because we, we not only can we heal for free, but we, like I said, I want to go to Pippi's house. And here she is! I don't know what happens if you actually bring her directly to the house and not to the mayor, but I'm guessing you're going to be forced to go to the mayor anyway in order to get the key to the zoo, uh, so that the monkey can grab it so you can actually get through the broken door. So let's talk to Pippi here. I've heard about your wonderful adventures. You're so brave, aren't you? Yes. You didn't have. Don't get so swell headed. <laughs> uh, okay. What's your mum have to say? I want to thank you again for your help. Pippi is fine now. Okay. You're just going to dance? Check. No problem. <laughs> Why don't I say no? You're brave. I hope you can wait again sometime. Uh, if I say yes? I'm so happy. To show you my gratitude tape. What the hell? It's surely about your god, you kid. Wait, did I not get the f... Did I not get that? I would have remembered mentioning it if we got it. I don't think... Yeah, we just got the Franklin badge. What the hell? I thought we were supposed to get that in the bloody cemetery, but I completely forgot we didn't get it. So, if you don't answer the correct question in the cemetery, you have to come here and do like a yes, no question here kind of thing in order to get it? That I never knew. I was just seeing what all the... options were. Wow, um, yeah, so, Franklin Badge. Legend says that Ben Franklin wore this reflective badge during his experiments with lightning. Reflective badge when he was experimenting with lightning. If a lightning-based attack hits you, it will bounce back. That is amazing. So that basically is a reflect. If a lightning-based attack hits you, it's going to hit the caster instead. So that is really, really good. I think it doubles the power as well. I'm not entirely too sure about that. But, yeah, do I, do I equip it? Nothing happened. Okay, so I guess it just sits in my, um, inventory. Okay, can I not go through the rest of it? So let me say no. And then I say no again. You probably already have someone special. Oh, okay then. Well, so far we haven't really. But let's go see our mama. I love you so much, mother. <laughs> That's the reference. But funnily enough, even now that's a thing. I'm thinking about doing like a converse, like a discussion video similar to what I did with um, what was it called? I got 509. Whoa, my money! Holy crap! Yeah, I was thinking about doing like a discussion video similar to uh, what I did for what's uh, what's the worst Zelda psychic ever. 
and yeah, I might as well take the opportunity to save right here. And um, I was going to do um, something like, where, what is the meaning of the title Mother and Earthbound? Because Earthbound seems to, you would never use that in like a sentence unless you force use it, but it does make sense when you do. But at the same time, Mother, I mean, for example, in this game, uh, I actually, I can't really say that because that's spoilers. Dang it! But yeah, it doesn't mean our mum. <laughs> it does not mean our mum. It has something to do with something completely different. But yeah, um, it's not Mother Earth either. That's more like for Earthbound for the Super Nintendo, Mother 2. But yeah, that's kind of a thing. Funnily enough, the Mother the title doesn't make sense in Mother 2, but um, yeah, that's a thing. I mean, Mother 3, Hinawa. Do I need to say more? <laughs> The Earthbound 2 is just a suffix because it's like technically a direct sequel to the original because Pokey's the main bad guy. I don't really need to worry about spoiling that because the main enemy is pig masks. I mean, come on. Who's associated with pigs? Pokey. Sorted. Anyway, let's go talk to my mum here. Yes, I've been wounded. Cook me some steak, mummy. I have noticed in some of the videos that I've edited so far, this series, I've only episode, edited up to episode 2. <laughs> I'm trying to stockpile some videos. But you see, you see, the thing is, when we, when I heal like that, for some reason the music kind of bugs out. The, it, it like goes, instead of going do 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 it's like do 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 and I don't know why. And then the music for some, then the music some reason desyncs with the video. I've never known the Roxio to do that so far, but apparently it does. I got a magic herb! What the hell? What is that? Is that a healing item? When you're tired or injured, use it. I guess it is. Well, I'm fully healed, so I'm fine, and I can one-shot enemies. That's a thing. Because you can't one-shot... Because enemies aren't on the map, you can't, like, one-shot enemies by back-attacking them or whatever, or just walking into them. But if you're powerful enough, the, ba the battle goes really quick as well, because you don't have to wait for, like, certain transitions or all the enemies to converge on your position. So, yeah. And I think we're pretty much done. We don't need to go do any shopping because we're actually getting quite a lot of healing items on the way here. We've got the Franklin badge, which is amazing. And I did my healing for the P for, for PSI and everything. So I think we're pretty much sorted. So I'm just going to go back the way back to the um, the zoo. And I'll meet you guys back there. I'm sorry that we've wasted quite a lot of time back here. But this is the way to the zoo here. So I'll see you guys back in the zoo. Holy crap! I'm literally outside the zoo, and I just bumped into this thing. That is a scary sprite, considering my level. I'm full health, and I'm not, I haven't even entered the zoo yet. I'm on the out. I'm outside the zoo, and this thing appears. That's not fair. Where are all the hippies and wallies I've been battling on the way up here? God, that's annoying. But yeah, we're back at the zoo pretty much. So um, I'm gonna no. That's a problem. You can't see how much PP each PSI technique costs. It's slightly annoying. Uh, fight, I guess? Please? Oh, Jesus. I just got bit by a tiger and it only did 14. Okay, we evenly matched in speed. Only two hits with the home run bat. It's not a home run bat, it's a wooden bat. But you know what I mean. And I'm still not in there. God damn it. Uh, no, 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 not another tiger. Get out of my face. Running. Can I outrun a tiger? No, I can't. <laughs> I was foolish to think that I could run. Can I try again? Yeah, I am not faster than a tiger. That is stupid. I am taking... What? Continuous attack? No! I'm almost dead already. What the hell was that? That ain't fair. Life up alpha. Yes, I dodged swifty. Oh, come on. No. Stop this. Uh, good. Let's use that magic herb. Might heal more. Yeah, it did. Okay, 32 HP. Oh my god, stop this. One more bat. One more bat. No, that didn't kill it. Come on! No, I'm gonna die outside my target. After going back to heal. Are you kidding me? Thank you. Jesus. They're ferocious. This game isn't fun. But uh, This game is fun. <laughs> this game ain't easy, is what I'm saying. The, in the GBA version, you can get an easy ring if you play the translated version, because, you know, you can only get the GBA version in, J in Japanese. But the translation team, like, hacked a easy ring in there to double your experience. And I think they also added a repel ring to lower encounter rates. 
I'm not too sure. But yeah, um I think they also added a hard ring so you get no experience at all. I'm like, what? I don't know. Anyway, what am I doing in the menus here? Oh my god. I forgot to put away the basement key. We do not need that anymore in whatever universe, because we're not gonna go back into our basement. So I should have given that to Mimi. Is it Mimi or Mimi? It's one of the two. Oh, what am I trying to do here? Go down to PSI. Let me use life up alpha. 30. Okay. Uh, I think I can live with that. Please let me in. Oh, for crying out loud. Please don't be another tiger. Okay. Hyenas. God, we're not even in and I'm panicking already. This is terrible. I'm surprised I didn't get a level up on the way here. Can I, these guys just grin and bear it. So I'm going to cut this battle out. Oh my god. That took a while. Hey! Got a new level up, which is awesome. Sadly, it doesn't actually recover my HP, which is a shame. Fight is increased by 2. Speed is increased by 3. Wisdom is increased by 3. Strength is increased by 2. Force is increased by 2. Maximum PP increased by... Thanks! That's a real good level up. Took me forever to get that. Oh my god! Come on! How am I supposed to cut these out? You know what, I'm just going to cut until I can get back in there. This is getting ridiculous. Get a smash attack on your face. How do you like that? Get out of it. Oh, never mind. I'll have to keep that battle in, even though I didn't say anything for like a good 10 seconds there. Got a new PSI power through battle. Uh, that was the wrong button again. I keep forgetting to do that. Press select to get there quicker. Okay, where do we get? Uh, Nintendo. Uh, defense down, Alpha. Interesting. So we can actually lower opponent's defenses now. I don't care. I'm doing it. No, I didn't even move. Okay. Let me in. Where's the door? No, I didn't want to talk. Okay, finally! Good lord! That was unbelievable! Seriously, I've been recording for 16 minutes. That's how many random encounters I've bumped into. That's how much cutting I've had to do. Yes, we spent a little bit of time with Pippi, but that's like half the episode for me right there already. And I've just and I haven't even moved a speck an inch at this point. I'm just looking upwards. I mean, uh, north, whatever. Anyway, we gotta get through here. Please be kind. Please be gentle. I don't know. Ooh, rabbits. Hey, they're walking slow. Hold the B button. Look at them run! Stop it. Look at them run! Woohoo! Lovely things. I did not press... Oh bloody hell, my phone went off that made me jump. And there's a tiger. Good, good lord. Hang on. Okay, sorry about that. I get freaked out by the tiger, then my phone goes off. I mean, bloody hell. Can I have any more jump scares in this bloody episode? This ain't even a horror game! This isn't even a horror game. <laughs> oh, it's starting to feel like that. Oh, what do I do? This guy. I don't want to waste the defense of Alpha now. I just got a level up. Can I outrun it? Yes, I can. Once you hear the run noise, you've actually run. Oh. Jeez. What's this say? Move. You have to. Oh, for Christ's sake. Check. No problem. Oh. There's a sign there. I can't check it! Move over one. No, I can't read that sign. Okay, whatever then. Why even put it there? Monkeys! Oh, the monkeys! Pandas! Can I check this? No problem. Okay, so what's the point? So this is clearly a zoo, but it's kind of like a weird... It's like the safari zone from Pokemon. you got the fences and everything. Do. You know, these guys don't even fight me properly, I'm just going to run, and I can't be asked. I should fight them for the experience, but I don't want to be fighting. I want to reserve my HP and PP whenever possible at this point. I don't even know if I'm going the right way. This should be straightforward. Max, what are you barking at now? He's been barking all day. Well, I say all day. He's been barking for, like, bloody... And now I'm pushing my luck with running. God damn it! Don't kill me! No! Stop with the continuous attacks! Seriously, I, as soon as I got back from work, which is two, it's half three right now. I didn't record for like a whole hour since I got back, because no one's in the house. 
It's because he's been barking and since I got back and I don't know why. I've looked outside, there's nothing out there. Ugh. What do I do here? I'm gonna have to circle back round. Life up, Alpha. Please don't get another combo on me. This is getting ridiculous. Okay, good. He only hit me once. Okay, whack him. I should only lose 15 health. Uh, 30 health if he does a continuous attack. Yep, that's 30. 30 on the dot. God dang it. Mm. It's, I don't know why, but navigating the main... main uh, maybe it's because I'm playing on the gamepad, there's a second lag, but it's not normally that bad. I think it's the game, because like I said when moving, like a few episodes ago, I, pr I said my direction every time I pressed the button without holding the B button. But when I was holding the B button, I was moving all the time. I think it's something to do with the frames that allow you to move, it's very weird. And obviously when you're holding B, you pretty much able to move on every frame that you can, so I don't know. It's weird. Anyway, uh, what do I do here? I've got 20 seconds. Like, you know what? B bash him! Yeah, I like how it's actually called attack in this game, like a traditional RPG and not bash, like it is in um, Earthbound Mother 2. Um, God damn. Well, no, stop it. I need to go to PSI. My PP! My PP! Oh, there's our target! Right there, that building. That's where we want to get to. Oh, this is a big sign. I should be able to read this. Check. One of a kind! The amazing singing monkey. There's no one in there. Well, maybe he's hiding in the building. Maybe he's the one who took our key! Uh, enough with the tigers! Where are all the alligators? Where are all the elephants? I swear, this thing is a lot more scary. Bash it! So I'm not going to be able to run this thing again. I pushed my luck with that. Okay, 13. Okay, that's perfect. He, he, he got a low roll. This is like Pokemon at the moment. Fun fact, Ape Inc, which are like co-developers of this game, actually became a uh, Game Freak later on. So yeah, the creators of Pokemon actually had something to do with this. I think that's correct. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that is correct. I think they were known as Ape beforehand. Or it was a subdivision, like a little division of Game Freak, because they did that as well. I do remember reading about that. Okay, we're at the end here. Hyenas are not big of an issue. I'm keeping all random encounters in here because it's kind of like a dungeon and therefore it's... That's why I cut them out at the beginning while we were going back to town because we've already seen them encounters before. But as it's like a dungeon, might as well keep every encounter in because that's kind of the meat of the dungeon other than running around. As well as that you get to hear me freak out when something bad goes, uh, something bad happens. But we're almost at the end now and when you defeat a dungeon, I believe... Just like in Mother 2 that everything runs away from you. You don't get encounters in the area that you just beat. Well, dungeon that you just beat. There are only a handful of dungeons. I mean, this is one of them. But In fact, this might be the only instance that happens if I remember correctly. Uh, everything's a little bit hazy. I haven't watched the LP in a while and I haven't been going back to watch Chugger's LP of it because I'm doing an LP of it myself and I would like to keep it interesting. Like I said, I watched it years ago. So, that's a thing. Can I not get in? Or was I not pushing upwards while holding the B button? Seizu Superintendent's office. Hmm. Can I go in here? Yeah, I can. I wasn't holding B. That's not a pleasant noise. Hello? Oh, present. Who are you? I wish I had the L button to talk and check at the same time. In fun fact, in the GBA version of this game, you can do that. The L button and R buttons are programmed to work in the game. And pressing the L button, just like in Earthbound Mother 2, is check and talk at the same time. But it doesn't work on a certain thing, because it's weird. Open the present. There was a rope. Basically, that is an escape rope from Pokemon, technically. You use the rope, you can get out, I think. It's definitely not breadcrumbs. Rope. Use it to tie... Oh no! Use it to tie the enemy up! Okay, maybe not. I was completely wrong. Let's go into the other room. Thank you. Ow! Oh, pants. Oh, rats. Well, we haven't encountered rats that many times, so I'll need this one in. Like I said earlier on in the Let's Play, you can actually have a rare encounter and the only encounter in Ness's basement. But yes, it's basement Nintendo's basement in his house. That's why you have the basement key in case you want to go back there. It's not automatically used when you open the door. 
Alright, let's check the present. And we got an antidote in case we get poisoned. I guess I'll keep that, even though we do have healing alpha. I'll keep it just in case because we haven't got a lot of items with us. Oh my god, move! Every time I let go of the B button so I can move more accurately, I might as well just tap the button like that. Yeah. Anything in here? No. Anything in here? I have a prezi. Ah! Mug. Centipede Adrian So basically the encounters in here are just like what they are outside of the zoo. Or outside the vicinity of the zoo, because when I was outside the zoo I was encountering tigers like crazy. And then I was encountering them like crazy inside. That's probably where all the animals are went. They got eaten by the tigers. <laughs> Who are you? It's annoying. Get used to that. Yeah, so I've got some bread. Do I want that now? Oh my god, I haven't been noticing my health. What the hell am I doing? Uh, I want that now. Eat. I chose use by accident. I meant to choose eat. Because items have two effects in this game. So basically, I've made, yeah, crumb bed crumbs are an escape rope. Maybe the rope is an escape rope as well? I'm not too sure, but I'm not going to use it. So now it's turned to crumbs. Can I eat the crumbs? I can't eat crumbs. Are you kidding me? I'm probably never going to be able to use those breadcrumbs. Can I just chuck them away? Would you... Mm. Drop. Yeah, okay, I threw away the crumbs, so that resets that. Can I go upstairs, please? No! That's the reason why I don't want to hold the B button when I want to make accurate movement. But when I try to move, I can't move because I can't hold the B button. Get out of here. What do you mean I can't run from rats? They're easily one-shuttable. They do one HP of damage to me. No, I was pressing B. Get out of here. Jeez. I'm messing up like a scrub right now. Okay. Uh, I feel like I want one more of those. At least we've got tons of PP for it, at least. But I was worried when we were trying to get here because I was getting wrecked by those... Tigers, because they just wouldn't stop coming. Okay, there we go. It's like you have to hold the direction. You can't just tap the button. Well, I get... say that. I'm turning. I'm turning. How many times did you hear that? That was annoying. Oh, that's the boss. The boom boom has stopped. All we hear is the wiring now. Oh no, it started again. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I don't know if that was supposed to happen. Life up cream! That heals me. I know that does. I think I'll save that for the boss. Life up cream. Used to heal wounds. Yep. It's basically Vaseline. Oh! Come on! The boss is right in that doorway! Get him away, you stinking rats! How are you even blocking the door? You're tiny! I could step on you and that would work. But I'll crush him on my back, because why not? Ugh. This episode's been nothing but freaking annoyances, funnily enough. Get in my face. Okay, let me in. Come at me, bro. I have to actually check it. Are you kidding me? Suddenly, from inside the capsule, a Starman Jr. draws near. Yep, our first boss in the game, and he's tiny. <laughs> he's like a little cat. He's like a little pocket monster. I was about to say capsule monster, but that was its old name before Pokemon or Pocket Monsters became the official name. I guess that's another reference, but <laughs> I'm not intentionally trying to do that. PKA Beam Alpha! That's an electric Oh wait, oh bloody hell, I actually did damage to me. I thought the Franklin badge was supposed to reflect that. Good thing that we have the Franklin badge, ain't it? But then again, it didn't work. I don't know, it's confusing. It's confusing! At least we can survive another hit, if that's the case. Unless that was a low roll. Oh, damn, that does a lot of damage as well. Now I've got to heal. Oh, actually, do I want to use the... No, I'm going to use the... Uh... No, yeah, I will use Life Up Alpha. He's ready for an attack. Oh god. Oh god. Uh. Uh. I'm gonna use defense up alpha right now. I'm scared. You can never be too safe in this game. Wait. He was readying for an attack, but his attack was the normal one because it got. because of my defense up. The damage was half from 20 something to 11. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Let's just hit you again. Oh my god, that did nothing. Problem is, Nintendo gets no offensive PSI, like I said. 
Alright, let's use defense down, Alpha. I don't want to be going nuts on my PP because I haven't got a lot of it left. Does that work? There was no effect! Great, I wasted free PP. There's the beam again! Ah! No! Where's the cream? I want the cream. I want the cream! I want Alec! I want the life Alec Krim! 57 HP! That is insane! Fight him! That's all I can do! Bash his face! It's a, it's a battle with fisticuffs! Come at me, bro! Smash! And that knocked him out. Awesome. I'm surprised he didn't do his most devastating attack. Oh, he's off! <laughs> the odd zone that drove the animals insane died down. The zoo once more became a safe place. And therefore, like I said, encounters are no longer a thing in here. Thank God. As well as in this building, even though they're completely different. Alright, get me out of here. Get, 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 get me out. There we go. So now that all the animals have calmed down, are we... Okay, can I... Uh, no, trees... Treetops are solid. Dang it. So, now if we go back to that one pen that only had the sign, there's the monkey that stole our stuff from us. Do I have to check the sign? Yeah, probably. Let's uh, check it. One of a kind! See the amazing singing monkey? Well, this is the only thing of interest in the damn zoo. So I guess we'll just listen to it before we go, I guess? Wait a minute. Singing? And Ten remembered the tune! Apparently, the singing monkey had what we needed. Because if I press select here, we'll go to stats. We got another melody! We got the third melody! I thought that was supposed to be the second melody. Oh, whatever. It doesn't matter if we get them all in order. As long as you get them all, it's fine. That's what I'm saying. This game is non-linear. You can do them in any order. Maybe I wasn't supposed to come here yet. But oh well. <laughs> I decided to do so. So yeah. We got uh, the third melody, which is awesome. And we can just get out of here. So, while I'm making my way back, I guess we'll end it off exactly where we started. Bloody... Can't step over the flowers. Oh, I could have went this way. Oh, no, wait. Hang on. Can I not? No, I couldn't. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway. Howdy hell. In the next episode, guys. Because I think we've gone on long enough and I've got to do tons of cutting in this episode anyway. It's half an hour right now. I've been recording it. What? What? I'm still in the zoo. When I was outside the, s the zoo gates, I was encountering zoo enemies. So if I'm in the zoo, I should only encounter zoo enemies. But no, I'm in the zoo, and now I'm encountering podunk enemies. What? That makes no sense. Get out of my face. I'm just doing my outro, and you just appear out of nowhere. And I went the wrong way as well. Right, let's go pick up. Wow. Oh, by the way, the music has actually changed to just the indoor music inside this place as well. Wait. Did I, what, where's the doorway? Well, I did go the right way. Where's the, where's the doorway then? Oh, it's over here. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, try my intro, outro again, Wally. God damn you. In the next... We're gonna what? Eh. Eh. There we go. <laughs> exactly where we started, probably. In the, la in the next episode, guys, we will head back to Podunk and we'll go sort out this canary chick, which is the last quest that we got to do around here. And then we can finally move onwards. See you guys then.